Okay, so in the previous chapter, uh, we were interested in the relationship between uh, two variables. We looked at variable y, which is explained by another variable x. So essentially, what we are dealing here was a simple regression model. And previously, we learned how to use a simple linear regression analysis to explain a dependent variable y as a function of a single independent variable x. But in this case, it was very, very difficult to make k paribus assumption. For example, there there may be other variables those may be explaining this y variable and we saw in some of the cases that this x variable if x variable alone tries to explain variation in y variable we saw that r squared value was very very low that is our model was not fitting the data very well so what can we do one way to extend our model of simple linear regression is to include more x variables on the right hand side. In this chapter, we're going to extend the same concepts we learned in the previous chapter, and we will see that by introducing more variables on the right hand side, we are able to explain more variation in this y variable caused by these additional variables. And this model is called multiple linear regression. It is called multiple linear regression because we are extending the number of x variables on the right hand side. In the case of a simple linear regression model, there was only one variable x that was explaining another variable y. But here we are adding more x variables on the right hand side. There are many advantages of multiple linear regression model over a simple linear regression model. The first advantage is it explains more variation in our dependent variable y. Another advantage is uh, MLR. It deals with the uh, other functional forms. In the simple linear regression model case, we were dealing only with a simple case where x was entering in this form linearly. But we'll see that this mu uh, multiple linear regression model, it is more flexible because x can enter in uh, other functional forms as well. For example, x could be entered in level as well as in the square form as we will see in the future so this is the motivation of using a multiple linear regression model rather than uh, a simple linear regression model and again we will extend uh, uh, the same concepts that we learned in the simple linear regression modeling framework and you will see many similarities between the previous chapter and uh, in this chapter the only extension will be able to make a Ketras peripus assumption met and we will be able to explain more variation in this y variable as explained by other x variables and also we'll see that this multiple linear regression model it is more flexible so these are some of the topics that uh, i will discuss in this chapter all right see you in the next video bye bye